Hey guys, welcome back to Spindles. And in this video tutorial, we are going to learn this. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. I already have one this PNG. Right click, select new composition. This time I'll take this one and uh, right logo. Okay, now select this image and drag it and drop into this comp. Slightly reduce size. Okay. Create one more uh, composition. Name as shape layer. Okay. Now select this circular ellipse tool and create one circle. Now select this layer, go to effect and preset type. Yeah. Select this turbulent displace, drag and drop to the layer here, or you can simply drop to here. Okay. Now change the amount to 55, size 85, and the complexity. 10. Okay, now we are going to animate this circle. So go to very first frame, type S and 0. Click on this icon to animate this and go to 8 second and just increase the circle. Just want to feel the whole thing like this. Okay, now if you play, see, alright, now again we create one more comp, new composition, logo, logo, comp 1, okay, now in this comp, we simply just select this shape layer comp, and our basic logo comp and drag into the logo comp 01. Okay, now select this logo layer and here select alpha mat. So you will get this kind of animation. If you don't find this option here, simply press F4. Now we have logo comp 1. Now select that comp 1, logo comp 1, drag and drop into this icon. So just select this and drop on this icon. Okay. See, another comp is generated. Now just go inside this comp, select this comp and duplicate. Ctrl D is a shortcut for duplicate. Okay, now we have two comps in the same frame. and there is low comp 2. Okay, now select that this one, this comp, this logo comp, and uh, select track mat, and this time select alpha inverted mat. Okay, and just shift is comp little ahead so that you will get this kind of effect see i just drag this comp like this a bit not much little bit.
Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now select this logo comp to and same again do the same thing drop on this icon the new one again generate its logo comp t now go in the, inside that comp okay so we already have logo comp to inside the logo comp thing simply just select this layer, uh, shape layer comp and drag inside the logo comp See. like this okay now select the logo comp 2 and select this alpha inverted mat okay now go to very first frame and after 10 frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 or you just go to very first frame and shift and page down okay just drag this frame after 10 frames okay so you get this kind of animation now select this com logo com 3 and drag into on this icon and now rename this com name just select the com4 and hit enter okay party okay so inside the particle folder uh, com we already have logo com3 now just right click new solid name it party Um, go to effects track code and particular okay. now select the logo 3 make it 3d then go to particle layer okay now we are inside the particular so go to emitter See, the emitter option here particle per second right now it's 100 but we need more than 100 so we'll take one like 50,000 okay now emitter type instead of point choose layer okay now this velocity make it zero velocity random also zero now go to layer emitter see the small icon uh, arrow just click on it okay so here we need to select our this layer sorry so here we need to select our logo comp layer okay so click on this and select the logo comp 3 layer okay and inside sam layer sampling instead of still select the particle birds time then layer rgb usage select this rgb xyz velocity okay now go down inside a particle we don't want blurry particles so reduce this feather amount okay now inside size see size random is 0 make it 100 then inside the shading see the shadow late for, for main and ox is off this turn this on both Okay, now go to physics. Uh, inside physics, in air, see, you will get a lot of options. So, see, physics, air, and inside air, there is a turbulence field option. Just click on it. Yeah. So, here, see, the affect position. Click on it. 
right now it's zero we don't want it so we'll just make 40 okay now go down aux system see right now it's off select continuous okay down down and then see here also feather feather is 30 we don't want it so make it zero and uh, size is okay size random a bit make it 50 and then yeah yeah color from main so whatever your logo color is it will adapt from there so make it 100 percent now okay i think that's fine just hide this layer here okay and just see what we got okay we need to do something with the moment okay so go here physics air mode only See the turbulence position is zero. Just make it two fifty. Okay, now play. see you get this random moment. Now. All right, so we got this. Cool. Now we'll we now we'll create secondary particle. So just select this particle layer and. Control D to du duplicate this layer. Just rename this particle zero. Okay. Now go to particular particular options and instead of one point five lakhs, just make it uh, around uh, six thousand. And uh, go to this. We need more movements so for that. Yeah, affect position instead of forty, make five hundred. Yeah. So you will get this secondary motion. I think just reduce the particle size. Go to aux and uh, yeah, size here. It's three. three. I think four is fine. Okay, so now you will get this kind of animation. Alright, I think it's cool. Okay, so now. now okay so select this particle comb for here from here and drag and drop on this icon okay this is our final comb so enter and rename the comb okay Now if you remember in logo comb 01 here we have this logo animation. Yeah. So go to final comb. We already have the particle animation. Now just select this logo comb 01 and drag inside this comb this comb. Okay. Now just to offset the animation, select the logo comb one layer. Go to 10 frame and just offset. Now if you play, see, all right. So this is our logo label. It's done. The cool thing is of this logo com. So whenever you want anything else, you just need to replace the current one. So you just hide this and whatever you type here 
or whatever like whatever inside is gone it will replicate there so i just type text and i change its color to red or something and i go to final com see Will update you. Like this, a cool is this. Nice. So we just go to our logo com. Go back to hospitals. Just slightly add one gradient. This will update here. So I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe SPTels and don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thank you.